Maybe we should try it in here. If we can, I don't know if we can survive. We'll try it. Cause you see how many bullets it takes to put these guys down. All right, we're gonna try this. If I die in here, then I die, so be it. You guys know I got to the point where you could get to the viable ending, but I only got, I don't know, 40,000 points. But I'll run around in here. All right, so we're starting at basically 40,000 points. Let's see what it takes for one round of 112 zombies. Gotta be so careful in here, though. I can keep them behind me, I'll be okay. It's when they spawn in front of me is when you get into yourself into a world of hurt. It's, we're, just, we're doing a test here. We're doing a test to see like how many points we can get in a round. If this is worth it versus using a good gun and just going to town on them, you know? Because doing it this way is going to take a lot longer. But it, I think it would give us more points per round. And the ammo is so cheap. 20, 20 points. Dude. I went back for it. That was probably a mistake. So 100, 111 left. Is it the number going up? Wasn't it like 110 earlier? Oh, these guys, as soon as I kill them, they'll start doing that like that guy just did. <laughs> All right, Canadian Colt is doing some work on them. I just heard a drop. Another drop. Another drop. Three drops in a row right there. I'm just hip firing. It makes it easier. Is there any double points? Don't really want the insta kills. Take the max ammo. I don't want the insta kills because I want I want all these bullets to go in there and just keep getting ten points for every zombie it hits. So it's hitting multiple zombies. I almost went through that insta pill, didn't I? 50,000, so that's 10,000. Still 94 zombies left. Mm -hmm. I've never, like, sped up a video, like, a whole, I don't know. If I would have to speed it up, it'd just be better, to, like, to cut it out, I guess. If this... Oh, shoot, shoot. I was going for ammo. That guy was not being friendly. It's not nice. Zombies are not nice. All right. Now they're coming out of the walls. They're coming out of the woodwork. They want a piece of meaty. 53,000. We're supposed to get to 200. It'd just be a lot of doing this, huh? Do do do. I have me Canadian coat. I don't know what to do besides shoot zombies. You get in the group, buddy. Every... It's totally worth it with this gun, though. Look at that. 57,000. There was a double points in here. That would be pretty beast. <laughs> Could you imagine? I guess double points... You, you can only recoup double points if you get the kills, though. You'd have to get, what? 20... 100... Well, maybe. I don't know. If it's 2,000 for double points, and you're getting 20 points per hit, and you get... Nah, it might work pretty good. I don't know. Whoa. That dude's tricky. He's like Ninja Zombie. Hi, my name's Ninja Zombie. It's nice to meet you. It's so nice to meet you. I feel bad for just running around in a circle, guys, honestly, but... Uh, 200k? Bible ending? <laughs> Bible. Yeah, <laughs> I say Bible. Bible ending. Guns actually thought it said Bible ending. Like <laughs> like the Bible, like Armageddon. It's an Armageddon. The Bible ending. It's where the seas are parted. The Red Sea is parted and I don't know. <laughs> Pretty funny. Alright, this is this is definitely getting old. 
I just I said I was gonna do one round in here, and I swear I'm just gonna do one round. We started at four, just at 39.5. But this right here would take. I should have looked and see what time, how long the round took. 47 left. Ow! Grabby, grabby, McGrabby. Ha! I want to grab Meat Wagon's butt. Get out of here, zombie. Yeah, 43 left. I could just hit him with the regular gun and mow these guys all down, but I, I want to see what's going to do with the pistol. 69,000. Not even close, freak bags. Getting close. We're gonna take a, a count here pretty quick on what we got. And get some more ammunition. Yeah! You hear him screaming, man. Zombies. Zombies. Get away from me. Come on. Finish these dudes off, Medius. The ultimate circle strategy. <laughs> uh, this is what I'm talking about. Like, I don't need ammo yet. Like, high rounds and stuff. I gotta say something. You know, High rounds are fun and everything to set a benchmark for your friends and all that stuff. But to go on to, like, YouTube and go, I'm the world record high round guy. I could sit here for two weeks doing this, right? And say, hey, I got to round, you know, 3,000 or whatever. Just because you're running in a circle. It's... I don't know. It's not the way I like to do things. I'm sitting here doing it right now because I have to to get these points, but playing zombies should be more like about fun and killing and doing that stuff, not necessarily about trying to set records and I don't know. I just think they're I think they're overrated because there's there's ways that you can do things that make it a lot easier. And it, if you it depends on how much time, how much you don't have going on in your life to where you could just sit here for weeks at a time and pause things just to sleep. All right, so basically, forty thousand points. So from thirty-nine thousand to seventy-nine thousand. Forty thousand. And it took, I don't know, it took like ten minutes or something. Ooh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure, guys. I, I I don't I don't think this is probably that much fun to watch. I'd love to get the viable ending though for you. Really would. Maybe I'll, um, should I cut out some rounds or something? Just maybe do a couple rounds here? Well, what if I die, though? Then then it's like, oh, no, if I stop recording and I die, it's like, oh, okay, so there's 115 zombies right now are coming in. 115 threats to the medias. We, okay, we got 40,000, but, like, if we were out front with the MP40, if we got, say we got, just got 100 points, that would be 10,000. So we could possibly get 15,000 per round. Like, I, I'm being conservative. 15,000 per round down there with the MP40. Maybe we should do that, huh? 15,000 per round. That way I wouldn't have to stop recording and I'm not just doing this. Because, I mean, obviously I, I could do this and um, get the 200k. Hmm. Maybe I could tell a story. Once upon a time, in a wooden room, there was this man with a Canadian Colt pistol shooting zombies. <laughs> I'll just make a stuff. Oh, a drop finally. Drops are rare because I'm not... Oh, is that doubles? All right, let's see what we go. 83-8. 83, 83-8. Eight. 83, eight. I'm taking more chances because I have double points. I need to make sure I have ammo no matter what. I saw that guy. 83-8. Come on. Keep blasting in there. 
No. No, I need the double point. Mm. So 83.8 to 92. Almost 10,000 right there with the double points. Not bad. Like I said, if we had double points, I guess if double points were 2,000 and we were able to get, you know, we'd be we'd be 8,000 in the plus or set, you know, about 7,000 in, in the plus on that. That would be good. But up in that double point area, I don't know, man. I don't know. If you get, we're gonna be at 100k halfway there pretty soon. I think we'll go. Okay, here's what I'll do. I'll make you a deal because I would hate to stop recording and just keep playing and then come back in and go, "Hey, look, you guys, I did it. That was really fun." I'm gonna go to 100k or the end of this round or 100k, and then we're gonna go back out to the other area and we're going to run like the um, the MP40, the MP40 maybe. Maybe I could pick up that other cowbell, huh? I got me a cowbell. I got me a cowbell. Mm -hmm. This isn't that boring. I mean, I know I I always talk about not running solos or uh, solos, circle strats, but I am racking up the points, my friends. That's why it's easy mode. Easy mode. Mm -hmm. I think I'm going to stop talking about that. I'm not crumbing on anybody for doing it. I'm just saying it's a game mechanic thing. You know what I mean? I'm I'm one of those people who believe in... Um, is that double points? No, it's ammo. Who believe in, like, I do things my way, you do th you things your way, and they're both cool. You know what I mean? I, I'm totally not against anybody doing what, what they do. And that's a... Uh, 100% truth. Like I said, I may say say things, but I say it because I, I tend to try and do something a little bit different. But the coolest thing about like YouTube and life in general is that don't don't like um, oh, what what am I looking for? Don't like discourage yourself or you know put other people down. Don't keep yourself open to a lot of different ideas and ways of doing things and that's not I'm not talking about zombies I'm talking about everything in life um, don't immediately discount the, like what somebody else does because it's different from what you do not saying that your way's right not saying that their way's right but both may have their merits you know what I mean and, and we're talking about in generalities here this is like a life lesson where you got to keep an open mind with things and don't be so quick to either um, like insult people or put people down because you're like, oh, they're different than me. So I'm going to say he's an idiot or you're a loser or you're not doing things the way I like to do it. So this is bad. You know what I mean? Oh, I almost got stuck right there. You know what I mean? It's definitely good. It's a good thing to keep an open mind about everything in life. Everything. Trust me. Trust me. I am. I'm older than you guys. I've been through a lot. I've uh, had a lot of success in life. I'm having uh, some good times here doing YouTube as well. And it's because I keep an open mind and I learn from other people. You know, it, it, like I, I've got a good head on my shoulders. You know, I, I know I know a little bit about a little bit. But it does, I don't think of myself as being smarter than everybody else. So I try and learn from everybody. It doesn't matter who it is. It doesn't matter if they're older than you, younger than you. You know what I mean? Try and learn from everybody. I used to do little commentaries like this where I kind of um, not gave advice or, you know, I cut like life lessons. But it's, it's it, uh oh, it's something to think about. Just, uh, you know what I mean? It's like if I could tell you guys anything that I've learned growing up myself is to keep an open mind don't be so quick to insult people um, things like that because you will grow more as a person if you do that you'll become like a better person because you're gonna be the person that everybody wants to be around you're gonna be the person that people maybe look to for advice or help and things like that and that's who you want to be you don't want to be the troll you know trolling is not it's not cool <laughs> Trolling's not cool. It may be, you see a video and you think it's funny. It's funny like right this second. 
but not it's not really funny it's not cool and it's not going to get you somewhere in in real life you know insulting people making fun of people making people feel bad embarrassing people not good not good at all if you've ever competed or tried to do something and put your all into it and somebody just purposely embarrasses you for like their own amusement that's stupid that's stupid and that's a very important thing to remember that's why uh like in regards to youtube people like bullying or trolling or insulting man i don't know about that <laughs> it must be like a i don't know it must be something that some youthful people are doing because as you get older and you learn about people 15 left as you learn about people and things you're gonna find out that that's that's not like the important thing all right so we are gonna go outside now hopefully you guys are still here we're right at the one hour mark hopefully you guys are still with me we got to 127 it's not bad did pretty good that round I just gotta remember how the heck to get get out of here um, no double points should I hit the box and get rid of this see what the box gives us real quick <coughs> How many do I have left? Four. Uh. Alright. Let's hit the box. Dun, 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 Monkey bombs. Nice. Alright. I think it was behind this. Yes. Behind this. So there's a door right here, though. I didn't see a trigger for it. Is it open? Huh. Oh, I opened the other way. What do we got in here for weapon? Hey! PPSH? What? It didn't give it to me! Are they considering this... This gun the PP... Oh man, I just wasted 2,000 points right there. Huh. Alright, don't do that. <laughs> Don't do that. Again, I don't want the, um, I don't want, like, the MG42 or anything. I want, I think that the, I'm going to say that, that MP40 would probably be the best. Shit, I'm out of gun juice. Right? And it's in here. It's pretty close. You have been teleported. You have been measured. You have been weighed and left wanting. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. I think I'll go with this one. Machine Pistol 40 with Aperture Sight. And then I've got Dr. McKay's Invisible Cowbell. <laughs> Alright, where'd that zombie go? Alright, so round 13. We're at 126,000 at one hour. We should be able to should be able to do this. Although my hand is really starting to bother me. Because I'm, you know, you're constantly having to push on shift with your pinky to run. Hands bother me a little bit. Come on, zombie. Oh, man. Wait, I hear him. There he is. Hi, friend. <laughs> okay. Let's see what one round out here will do if we survive. You guys, if I die, I die. It, it is what it is. I'm trying to go to the Bible ending, but like I said, it's, I'm, I'm getting a little bit tired and my hand is really, really starting to bother me. But uh, So if I die, don't hold it against me. But if I don't, 126, we're going to see what a, a round out here will get us. And we're at 115 zombies. Yeah, it does take a little bit to kill them with this, so that might work work good for us. What is that? Ow, 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 ow! Stuck! Stuck! Wow. This is not going to be so... Oh, double points. Like that. Let's use the ammo up while we can. Try and gun down as many as we can. I don't care about accuracy right now. Going for double points. Try and burst fire a little bit with it. Oh, there it goes. Get away from me, you zombies are mean. Wow. This would be more fun to watch. I tell you that, I have a super high probability of actually going down out here. Because of all the different directions they come from. Hoot! Ho! Oh, low ammo already. Hmm. 
gonna have to use that this gun here Dr. McKay's gun the invisible cowbell gun apparently this is the PPSH because I tried to buy it off the wall and it acted like you already have it you know what I mean I almost died right there <laughs> 